Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. This is Binary for the winning. This is Binary is awesome. I screwed up my intro yet again. I'm not going to bother correcting myself because screw that. So, I guess uh, if you guys are surprised by the sudden increase of volume, that would be because I just bought myself an ama- Oh my goodness, this room is terrible. Be because I bought myself an Amazeballs microphone headset. And it's like freaking amazing. But before we do that. Oh, great. More of you jerk faces. Go away. We got a new dude. This is a Grisby. It's a sub volcanic carry on feeder. Carapace can be breached by missiles. So it's a missile dude. Uh, the Grisby's carapace has been fused together by super superheated air. Bleh. This barrier stands up to everything but of blasts. Its intelligence is limited to instinctive scavenging patterns. Huh. This we've already scanned, but uh, give me a second, folks. Whoops. I do have to tighten my wrist strap on my Wiimote because it feels incredibly awkward holding this now without it. At least in this fashion. Probably fine holding it sideways with the wrist strap, but not here. But oh, um, yeah. So this is the map. Uh, in case you haven't been able to tell right now, the gray doors are missile doors. Um. So yeah. So let's just get rid of you, because you're kind of being a butt. Uh, I think what we want to work towards is getting a new weapon system, because I don't know about you guys, but I think this little pellet shooter isn't doing enough damage to, s to people's. That was not a jump that I could make. Oh boy, we've got a new dude. This here is a burrower. How creative. Tunneling insect predator. Burrower, burrower is similar to the beetle, though it prefers to spend more time underground. It seeks seismic disturbances, then surfaces to attack. It is enough cunning to realize when something is too large for it to handle. Beyond that, it is fairly ignorant. What it lacks for brains, it makes up for with aggression. Why does that always seem to be the case? And anyway, we're going to come forward, so hopefully we can find a weapon system today. Oh. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Magmore Caverns. Now, you might be asking, why is it called this? What exactly is Magmore? Well, we'll be finding that out in this episode. In fact, here he is right now. That is not what I wanted to scan, game. There we go. Meet the Magmore, fire-breathing serpent that dwells in lava. Magmores prefer, and yet plural, so these are not bosses, by the way, un unlike past Metroid games, but they prefer extreme heat zones and are susceptible to frigid attack forms, which we don't have. Hopefully, maybe we'll find one of those. Doubt it, though. Well, actually, Ice Beam is usually the first beam, but, uh, they are susceptible to frigid attack forms. Sightless, they navigate the lava currents using their sonar receptacle, recept receptors. Magmores have a keen sense of smell, enabling them to pinpoint targets with startling accuracy. Oh, goodness. A giant lava worm used flamethrower. It's... It missed. Now, I'm not entirely certain, but I know that one of these breaks when you shoot it. Not that one. Oh, speaking of things... Meet the Puffer. I mean... Again, not that great of a name. It's an unstable gas-filled organism. Will rupture on contact. Puffers fill their bodies with lethal metavibrium gas and float about in search of food. If ruptured, the gas within the puffer is violently released. Despite their fragile bodies, puffers are aggressive hunters. The gas clouds they release upon death is often fatal to the creature that brings them down as well. Kind of like poison dart frog, except more suicidal. So yeah, space poison dart frogs. Oh, yeah, so it was this one that was broken, but what the- what is that? Go away, Mr. Magmore, I want to scan that. That is a Chozo artifact. Huh. Go away. Okay, so it takes three missiles to kill those dudes, just FYI. That artifact I don't think we can reach, though, with our current things. Maybe we'll find a way to get that as well. 
all of the things we can do in this episode. We're getting some, so we got some missiles here. Uh, what exactly is this made of? This is made of sandstone, morph ball. Well, we're just gonna continue on a morph ball. More, more sandstone. Oh. Oh boy, hopefully he can't reach me from here. Yeah, I expect to see quite a few of these. Preeds are qu ironically quite common, or more common in Magmore Caverns than Magmores themselves. So keep that in mind. Um, door here, and beyond this door we have... These things! Oh, these things are so freaking annoying. This is a Triclops. Hardy har it's a pun. Um, hard... Well, actually, is it? They're not really three-eyed. They do kind of... They're Cyclops. This is the worst name ever. It's a one-eyed thing, and yet it's called a three-eyed whatever. A hard-shelled creature with powerful jaws. The Triclops is a hunter-gatherer. It collects creatures, and small creatures, and bits of food stuff, and then deposits them elsewhere for later consumption. So it's like a alien pill bug. That's nice to know. By the way, for those of you who have never seen a pill bug before, they're freaking adorable. Uh, the hard tripartite mandibles... It uses to move earth and rock are quite... Oh, oh, I've dropped some frames. I'm gonna have to sink later. Are quite strong and difficult to escape once ensnared. Yeah, these things are kind of butts. But if you drop bombs without getting caught, it'll pick up the bomb instead. Like that. And then it will die. I actually never figured that out until... Well, well... That's for picking me up, you jerk face. Oh, we got another one over here. Whoa. It, that's an interesting effect they did with their mouth just then. Anyway, we're going to want to go through this door and see what we got. More of these vent things make it impossible to see anything. And I believe this is a room with quite a few preeds in it. Uh, but yeah, as I said, hopefully we can find a weapon system here. This little pellet shooter is kind of not doing the job for me. See, maybe an ice beam would be cool. Um, but yeah, a jumping system would be something else to, to set our eyes on looking for it because uh, that artifact is kind of things. Speaking of kind of things, I believe. Oh, uh, over here is kind of a thing. I don't quite remember what's down here, but it's, I just remember it being, oh, oh, it's Morph Ball Hatch. Okay, enter the underneath. And kill as many of these things as possible before they kill us and eat us and go blub. I believe this is not a pit. Yeah, these are not pits because... Oh, I, s I hear a. I hear an item jingle. Um. Although, on that subject, I'm not entirely certain where our objective in this Morph Ball segment is. I guess it's over here. Huh. Indeed, it is. Door! Now, this is not uh, the way that I initially intended to go in this room. But there are stuff and things in here. I remember this room being rather annoying for some reason. But there's a missile expansion in here. So now we got five more missiles. I'm gonna have to adjust this headset at some point. I mean, I don't, the way I'm currently having it um, makes it kind of wire um, ear make it hard move so it's and heavy. Anyway, we're gonna go back out. Because there's nothing really much else for us to do in here. And then we'll head back to the way I intended to go. Um, which is of course the way we were supposed to go. Spoilers. Uh, uh, there's so many things we could look for. We could look for a new suit system, although I doubt we'll find those. There are usually only three suits in Metroid. Power suit, 
various suit and a gravity suit, so I suppose it goes without saying that, well, I suppose we also got our various suit really early, so maybe, maybe we'll get our gravity suit really early as well. Yeah, more, I might also call these things preeds by accident because there is a similar looking enemy that does pretty much the exact same thing in Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Uh, called the breed, and it looks pretty much exactly the same. Oh, well, what do we be over here? Space pirate turrets. What are they doing here? Oh, wow, that's interesting. I wouldn't have thought to meet space pirate turrets in this place. Although I suppose this is a space pirate. Or the, the space pirates did invade this planet, so I suppose I shouldn't be too terribly surprised. Uh, where are the other puffers? Uh, I don't see any in here. Also, because this is going to be a long LP, there will probably be intermission games in between this... Uh, once I finish Prime, for example, I plan on doing a co-op project with Kyle. In fact, I'll probably do co-op projects in between both of them, and they'll both be of the same series. What other things can we scan in here? Not much, to be perfectly honest. Oh, well, we've already scanned this. We. Yeah, you know what? A movement system would be nice. Oh, some computers. Let's see what we have. Immersion pistons are leaching power from the magma pools as planned. Geothermal power source is increasing. Recommend energy command. Deactivate central dynamo and switch to geothermal power at once. So, space part progress, I guess. Geothermal power rerouting to this station is complete. Unstable magma flow is a concern. Remove tower from geothermal grid if fluctuations exceed safety levels. Well, at least they're concerned for each other's safety. Uh, local crystal formations possess low phason residue. There's more of that phason stuff. They do have high value to the monks of Grand... I'm Grondheim. However, 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 oh, is that a period? Yes, it's a period. However, recommend processing of crystal for that market do once phase on operations cease. <laughs> oh, another thing here. Report any signs of magma predator activity to central. Com uh, yeah, I'd. Hello, space pirate central command. I would like to make a uh, file a complaint. There are, um, Predators everywhere. Oh god. Nuh. 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 Oh, well, well, hang on a minute. That must be it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I think I mentioned this. Alrighty, never mind. Energy tank! I actually never knew this was here. However, I did... Wow, these things take two hits to break. Resilient, resilient little buggers, aren't they? Uh, so I guess we're gonna find out what's in the other end. Oh, an elevator! Well, we're out of the magma already. That was fast. Wait. Fenenja drifts north. Interesting. I wonder if this Fenenja drifts is. Uh, in terms of geography, I believe... Um... I believe the magma caverns are the lowest location. Well, this place seems pretty cool. Guys, welcome to Canada. Uh, kidding, of course. Canada's only like this during the winter. Yeah. Well, some parts of Canada are only like this during the winter. Uh, the farther north parts are, naturally speaking, always cold. this cold, but... Uh, not where I live. I live in one of the southern parts of Canada, so... Not so for me. Sorry if you heard that. I hit my mic when I was scratching my neck. 
But yeah, welcome to Fenendra Drifts. Uh, for starters, we gotta scan this little bugger. This little thing is called a flicker bat. Scavenger with optical camouflage that renders it invisible to the naked eye. They're kind of annoying. Flicker bats are deceptive creatures. The only way to track them reliably is with X-ray imaging. They fly ceaselessly, hunting insects and other small... Sir, you are in the middle of Winter Wonderland. Why are you looking for bugs? Bugs are not Winter Wonderland, which is why I like winter. Flying cynical hunting patterns. Use primitive sonar to navigate. <laughs> okay, so there are, of course, stuff and things here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to readjust my headphone wire when I uh, quit this episode. And what are these things? These things are basically gamers. But, um, this is a crystallite, territorial cold weather scavenger. The shell of the crystallite reflects beam weapons and can only be cracked by concussive blasts. They hang upside down on an ice cave during their larval stage. Moisture runs off of its body and forms a hard ice shell, which the crystallite retains for the rest of its life. Until this happens! This, I believe, is a save room. And let's see what we got here. New personnel must report to the South Research Facility. Failure to report will be penalized by a 30,000... 30%... 30,000%! 30,000 30% ration cut and extra duty. Why can I not say that? Western Temple is in Phase 2 lockdown. All, proje all projects are postponed under no circumstance are personnel to attempt access. All ballistic support. Personnel report to the Research Lab. Hydra?! Oh man, a Marvel's not gonna like Nintendo after this one. Dude, this is Canada. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Uh, no. Anyway, guys, this is a save room. And you know what save rooms mean? It means the end of the episode. See you guys next time while I've adjusted my headset so that it's not as heavy to the one side. Bye.